now driving in the, the electric uh, uh, electric division, you look at the possibility of getting that eight minute mark, eight minutes 20 and change, it has to go absolutely perfect from start to finish. In each section, as you can hear them putting the vehicle's uh, tires on right now, it has to go uh, anywhere in the two minute uh, neighborhood from the first section to the next section. There's four sections basically here on Pikes Peak. Well, with 800 horsepower and Sebastian's incredible talent, I'm sure there's some wiggle room. There's some gray area in there. The preparation that this team has brought and the whole team's effort is being now here is, we like to say in the motor racing world, they have wired the Peugeot engine in anger. So they'll warm the car and then Sebastian will go do his thing. Um, only time will tell, Dan, and we'll yep. know in about nine, ten minutes or so. But I think that uh, they came for one reason, and one reason only is now Sebastian Lowe approaches the start line of what could be a new world record run. When we go to this in inboard camera, you're going to hear the uh, the switching of the gears. You're going to hear the the switching of the gears. You're going to hear the roar of the engine. You're going to watch it all live here. Everyone gathering around the monitors. Um, what could be uh, one of the fastest times ever to be conquered on Pike Peak? And here we go. You're watching it live right now on Red Bull TV, Red Bull TV. And around uh, corner number one, that was where corner number one it was so much trouble for Paul Dolan back. And uh, around number one, making it just fine. This is a live aerial shot right now coming up down the course. Will this be the day that the Bastion Loeb sets a new world record on Pikes Peak in 2013 in the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, as you're seeing it all live right now on Red Bull.tv. Obviously, we talk a lot about Sebastian, but this has really been a team effort. We, we have to look at the whole effort from start to finish, the preparation, the build out of this car, the, the testing, all the, the stuff that you don't see that goes into what could be an eight-minute showcase. So literally, as we have the whole team surrounding us here in our broadcast platform here at the base of Pike Peak uh, at start line, about 9,200 feet, everybody is intently watching as uh, we are getting tremendous shots overhead. Absolutely. And, and I'll tell you, when you look at this, uh, as fast as this vehicle is going, uh, one of the first glimpses of uh, the ability to see this all happening live and on your screen for the very first time. And it just gives you an indication how fast these uh, cars can make their way up. It was hard to identify exactly what corner that was. It was a left-hander, though, but it did look like Sebastian pushed wide. He had a lot of a lot of lack of front-end grip. His line there was probably not the one that he really preferred. But again, with 800 horsepower, his talent, there's some wiggle room there, Dan, and we're going we're gonna to watch it all happen right now. As the second car of Roman Dumont now fires, Yep, he will approach the start line. Around uh, that corner, coming up uh, to Glenn Cove, and then obviously Sebastian Loeb is going to need to get all the speed in this area because he will be in that area where he's going to start to come along the ragged edge and go up to the summit of Pike Peak to the W's, some of the big hair, hair turns and turns that Sebastian Loeb is going to have to conquer, and then very soon Jamal, Jamal is going to be also uh, trying to conquer the uh, turns here on Pikes Peak as you're seeing it all live right now coming up to an area of the, of the race course that is near 16 mile and I'll tell you as you watch this right now and the trees go flying by the speed of upwards of 160 miles per hour is by Sebastian Loeb the uh, movement driving the uh, Joe Lower 208 T16 around the corner he goes and up now coming to, uh, the area of Glen Cove, and I'll tell you, this is, again, the area of Pikes Peak, where if you're going to set a record, you have to be in the area set to set that record in this section of the of the highway, because you're not going to gain speed as you're going up in, into those uh, higher elevations. I want to really especially watch the W's as he goes up the 16 mile, and then up the bottom of this pit, I think this is an area where Sebastian 
and the horsepower is really going to shine. I, Danny, I tend to disagree with you a bit. I think uh, mm -hmm. the reason they've come with so much horsepower and the turbocharged uh, application, you heard of short shifting it here off the start line. I think this might be an effort that really is designed to, and I'm guessing, to push midway to the top. You're all, you're watching it live here on Red Bull. TV, Sebastian Lowe making his way up now, going past Glen Coe. He's going to be coming up to a ragged edge. This is going to be the uh, first park. It's called Elk uh, Park. And if you're watching uh, and, and you have your maps out, you can see what's left for this, what Sebastian Lowe hopes to be a record, record, uh, record breaking and record setting attempt. He's going to be coming up to ragged edge. You can see. Everybody, is everybody excited about this run? <laughs> is there excitement in the air? There, oh, there, there is. we go. There's excitement right now. And they're coming up, uh, Sebastian Loeb coming up to Ragged Edge right now. And as you as you see the uh, turn around uh, to get to Ragged Edge, this is when you're on this part of uh, Pike Peak, directly to the driver's right is the, 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 the straight down the mountain. And, and he's coming up to the W's which is uh, he's either going to make it or break it in this area, Kurt. Well, it's my call, and uh, he's heading up to an area last year where we had that big off by the Mitsubishi team, and a lot of guys don't like this area of the racetrack. Uh, we've not talked to Sebastian about this in particular, but uh, as Roman, come on down, it's up to the start line here. Sebastian now heading up into the area where they had the big off with the Mitsubishi guys last year. We've got the power, and we've got the helicopter. Now, you can see Sebastian Lowe coming up to the uh, second leg, the second cut of the uh, Ws. He's going to be coming up to 16 miles. He's already passed Ragged Edge. Sebastian Lowe driving the uh, Peugeot Sport 208 C16. Is he going to set a new world record? Only time will tell. He has some difficulties a little bit in, in, in the beginning of the, uh, Section 1, but as you can see right now, he is uh, definitely making his way up. The uh, mountain here at Pikes Peak, I've, we've seen it before, Kurt. We've seen the competitors. What's going through their mind at this particular uh, part of here we go. Pikes Peak? That's the FlatironStudio.com, yep. 16 mile, the critical left-hander that it will take him up to Devil's Playground in the bottom of the pit. He's going up to Devil, Devil's Playground. Look at the crowd at Playground. Holy Devil's cow. Playground absolutely packed year in and year out. And again, if he's not going to have the speed coming through the W's, this is where he can really make it up as he's coming up to uh, the upper part, to upper uh, gravel pit. He's approaching, and he's already passed the uh, mile, uh, 19 mile here on Pikes Peak Highway. And this is a very critical area because we're above tree line now. You lose some reference points. You're literally looking off into the sky. It's an area that maybe for a first-timer, certainly with Sebastian's talents, I hope that doesn't come into play, but for a first-timer, as you come above tree line, you lose all reference points. You're literally driving into the sky, and a lot of these corners do fall away. They're decreasing radius. Uh, it's a very challenging point, but I think this is where this guy's really going to shine. No question about it. You can see the consternation of, uh, of the people when uh, they, they switch back to the camera to us. We have the, uh, the helicopter, obviously, geared up and we're going to uh, hopefully get reacquainted with the helicopter here shortly as uh, the last check he's going to be coming up to gravel pit which is an area up on top of devil's playground where uh, sebastian Loeb is going to be able to reach some big time speed through here you can see there's not so much uh section of the highway that you have any danger on the right or left of going over uh, the side of the cliff and you can see that he is really picking up the big time speed coming up as we're approaching the summit of Pikes Peak. He's going to be coming around Boulder Park up to Olympic. There's a couple of hairpin turns there, and then it's up to the summit, and hopefully uh, what he hopes is going to be a record-setting attempt. Well, we just heard Roland Dumas take off the American Le Mans Series driver and Le Mans 24-hour champion, uh, Sebastian now approaching the summit. In the days of old, bottomless pit area when it was gravel, especially the right-handers, you're carrying big-time speed up there. You could hook that right front, uh, much like a flat tracker or an off-road racer, to help the car rotate, help it turn. Can't do that anymore. It's all paved. So different lines and a different time here at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And I'll tell you, they got everybody lined up in the, uh, in the Unlimited, and there you see 
Sebastian Lowe but making his way up to the finish line of the historic race track here at the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Sebastian Loeb is now crossed the finish line. Now we await to see what the time will be here in the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Will it be enough to set a new world record and be in the first time ever eight minute club? Only time will tell. Uh, a lot of handshakes. A lot of, lot of people of are, are pretty much going knowing. Uh, there, there's a lot of congratulations, head sh handshakes around. We got the cameras coming in front. The Team Peugeot, they are excited uh, beyond belief. Directly to my left, they know something, and, and they obviously feel the uh, excitement has been accomplished and the goal has been reached. What? But will it be enough to be in the eight-minute club? Well, I think I, I a new just, world record could be a possibility. But I, I'm reading the faces here. There's a lot of excitement and a lot of handshaking and backslapping going on. We will get official word here as soon as we can as Reese Millen now approaches the start line here at the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Looks like a terrific run by Sebastian. Maybe a small bobble here and there. Uh, oh, the, his time will tell. How's that for a play on words, Dan? No, no question about it. You see the uh, helicopter turning back and coming back down to the start line. A uh, lot of excitement. Uh, you've got such great talent in, in this unlimited uh, division, and it's, it's anyone's division, obviously, but when you have concentrated on such little details, like the tower, tire placement and, and how to tune that vehicle uh, to hopefully make a, a world record attempt, Absolutely incredible excitement, uh, and now we have... Uh, yeah, let me step on you, but we yeah, do have an ambulance. Yeah. Uh, lights are on, and we will get an official port or report as soon as we can, but that is not a good sign. Uh, Reese Millen just left the start line a few moments ago. And when you, when you talk about uh, Reese leaving just a moment ago, and you have an ambulance already... Well, but also, uh, Roman Dumas was already on course... Uh, Reese was the next car up, so I'm just going to have to speculate, Dan Cochelle, okay. but I, I think I'm... So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We're going to regroup and find out what the stoppage is for a moment, and uh, we'll take a break. We will also hopefully have an official time uh, for the, uh, the outstanding run by Sebastian Loeb driving Peugeot Sport 208 T16. Will it be enough to be a world record? We'll find out. Clouds are moving in. We're in the unlimited division. The excitement continues. Who else is going to be setting records on Pike Speed? We're back right after this on RedBull.tv. Stay with us, everybody.